So I gave a presentation about the um, uh, assessment of the role and fate of CAR T-cells and the monitoring tests that one can do to follow CAR T-cell populations after infusion in patients. Uh, so I gave a session in which I was talking about the fact that we can detect CAR T-cells by a number of different means. Um, and so I gave some data from the CARPAL study, which we've recently concluded the first cohort of patients. And we've been monitoring their CAR T-cell persistence now for over two years. So we are able to get persistence in many, many patients. We showed that some patients have short persistence, um, very few, and in those patients we had a look and we found that we could detect an anti-CAR T-cell immune response in which their own T-cells were probably killing the CAR T-cells and as a result they lost their CAR T-cells at early time points. The one way to do that is um, the reason that you can get an immune response against your CAR T-cells is because the part of the CAR that binds the recognition molecule CD19 is derived from a mouse antibody and when that happens then you can get an immune reaction where the body recognises that mouse an antibody fragment as being non-self um, and being foreign and that's what causes the immune reaction. So perhaps the use of humanised antibodies where the sequence has been changed to more closely mimic human antibodies may be beneficial in preventing those um, deletion events. Well, if it improves um, CAR T-cell persistence, then we know that CAR T-cell persistence for ALL is very important. And so if you get a, a shorter persistence, then that can, can, can predispose you to relapse. So it would potentially improve patient outcomes.